It's all of those rainstorms we've had this year. There is so much deadfall. In this one particular area that I do my testing with for my hammocks and tarps and suspensions. I mean, we're talking deadfall upon deadfall. Exposing more shale, which looks cool by the way. Not just this side, the other side as well. I'm gonna see if I can. Two trees over there alone, a good 20 feet difference, and they both fell over here. The deadfall is incredible. And the exposed shell, pretty damn cool. Well, you know this is going to go shortly. And these three over here. And more down that way. Well, time to set up my hammock and tarp and get some sleep. The children above my apartment are getting extremely loud and jumpy. With no signs of rest. So, I come out here. and get some sleep. Okay, I got my hammock set up. Porch mode on the one side, nice and wide. Down on the back a little bit, not by a whole lot. Still up plenty high to let some wind in because it's pretty muggy out here right now. I got some new, new pullouts I'm trying here. Pullouts here with some shock cord. And of course, cruising knot, make it easy. This my cruising knot loop, my tie out, make it really easy. I have that like on all of them, all my tie outs. I got plenty of space between my water break here and the same thing on the other side. From here, up again. If I need to, I can just flap this here down further. No big deal there. Everything else seems to be good. Everything seems to be centered up really nice. It took me a while to get centered up just about right. If I need to, I can always pull this side back a little bit. No big deal. But everything seems to be working. The hoot of an owl out here somewhere.
somehow, somewhere, close by here. Not exactly certain where, but it's it's close. Everyone. Last night was quite interesting until 5 o'clock. Then we had a rainstorm. As I was saying, I had some owls hooting way back there on that side. And then around, I'm going to guess around 3 o'clock, 2.33, something like that. That owl got something because it was screaming for its life. And I'm guessing it was one of the coyote pups. From the sound of it. And then over by the road. I heard uh, about 3, 3.30. Coyote cackling over that way. But it was on the opposite side of the river. 